Logic in incorporation. What is the first thing you do when you see a mathematical question? Let me guess. You either go blank or you just stare into space, don't even know what you're doing, or you just probably give up. Well, guess what? Not anymore. After this, you'll know what to do. Hello, my name is Ferrer Rodriguez, and today I will show you how to translate one set of data into another. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, read the question. Let's start. James made a circle graph showing how he spent last month's allowance of $80. It shows you a pie graph and the percentage of how much he spent. So now let's translate those percentage into real numbers. You multiply 80 by the percentage. Okay, now you have the percentage. Now let's multiply. Okay, now this is what you should have got. $32 worth of clothes, $8 worth of food, $4 worth of gas, $20 for movies, and $16 of gifts. Okay, now, look at A. This is a bar graph. Okay, in the bar graph it shows we have $8 worth of food, $4 worth of gas, $20 worth of movies, $16 worth of gifts, and $32 worth of clothes. Now this is right, but let's see the others. Okay, now let's look at B. This is also a bar graph. In this bar graph it shows we have $8 worth of food, $4 worth of gas, $25 worth of movies, $20 worth of gifts, and $32 worth of clothes. You know this one's wrong, so we can immediately eliminate this one. Now, let's look at C. C is a line graph. And let's see what this one's got to say. On this one, we have $8 worth of food, $8 worth of gas, $20 worth of movies, $16 worth of gifts, and, 30, and $40 worth of clothes. So you know this one's wrong. Let's eliminate this one too. Okay, this is D. D in this graph shows us that in the clothes, they have a 32, gifts is 20, movies is 20, gas is around $65, and food is $10. So you know that's definitely wrong. So we can immediately eliminate that. Oh.